Okay, what's your letter? B. What's your letter? B. What's your letter? B. Yeah. Oh, I think you guys have some competition. Okay, are you ready? You. Okay, you know how to do the wave. You have to be able to stand, raise your arms, and say you all at the same time. <sighs> Ready, set, go. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you very much. UTMB Health, working together to work wonders. came into the emergency room critically ill and didn't know it. And I was really sick. I didn't feel well, I was in a lot of pain, and I didn't know what was wrong with me. My appendix had ruptured long before and uh, was sitting with one of my ministers who, and we prayed for a miracle for me. I was in and out of consciousness and in my door walked Perry Fulcher. Um, he's actually an ob -gin here. And Dr. Fulcher looked at my husband and said, somebody needs to take your wife to the operating room and it's gonna be me. And I owe my life to him and this university and the people that provided my care. I was in the hospital four times, uh, 29 days. I had four major surgeries and Perry Fulcher was there with me every step of the way. So much so that every year on my birthday, I write him a letter, send him a card thanking him for giving me another birthday. I tell him about the lives that I've been able to touch through my work here. I tell him about my family. I tell him about the experiences that I've been able to participate in because he and a group of UTMB doctors saved my life. My husband ran a half marathon a few months ago because Dr. Michael Cook in anesthesiology has implanted a neuromodulator in his back. He's had six back surgeries. We didn't know if he'd walk, let alone run a half marathon. And now he and I, both given a second chance at life, are gonna be running a marathon in February. It's a testament to this university to show people that this university makes a difference in people's lives. UTMB has been my family and they have given me tremendous gifts and I pray that I can give them tremendous gifts back. You know, now we're working together to work wonders. I think that's a great line for what we believe in as an institution. If we work together and continue to work together in ways we have before and in new ways, we will work wonders, not just in Galveston, but around the world. I think that as an employee base, it is very important to tell the world we believe in what we do. I don't have the kind of funds to do a naming opportunity for a room or a building, but I do have the opportunity to say, I made an impact. Through this campaign, all we're asking for is participation. And I am thrilled to be a part of, even if it's a small amount of money, I'm a part of building the future. I am Trisha Wooten and that was my video and my hero just walked in the door. <laughs> Dr. Perry Fulcher, thank you. It is my absolute honor and privilege to be here with each of you today to talk to you about something that is incredibly important. The work you do every day contributes to the university. It's phenomenal. You save lives. Dr. Fulcher actually came and saw me run a marathon last Sunday. I made it. And the best part was he was there not only every day that I was in the hospital, but he was there on Sunday. And when I came through the chute, my feet didn't touch the ground. 
He, it was the best feeling in the entire world, and I have to admit, I bawled like a baby. But this is the shirt that I wore. It says 26.2 in honor of Dr. Perry Fulcher on the front and the back. Can you read it? It says, This Life Saved by Perry Fulcher. Thank you, Dr. Fulcher. Will you stand up? This man will tell you, it's just doing my job. It's a part of my job. He says it every time. But he came and saw me every day. He even had a day that he had a fishing, offshore fishing trip. Um, this is not a lie. It was a weekend. I was an inpatient. And he came in in a fishing vest. <laughs> and I said, what are you doing? And he goes, I'm not about to go fishing without checking on you today. And I love this meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, I love this man. There are millions of people who've been touched by this university, not just in Galveston, not just in Texas, but all over the world. And as an employee base today, you're going to hear from some phenomenal people that are going to talk to you about how important it is that each of us give back to UTMB. We're employed here. We have health insurance here. We get our health care here. We're also doing groundbreaking research here. We're providing state-of-the-art patient care. We're providing excellent training and development and education for individuals here. So it is my honor and my privilege to now introduce our fearless leader, who's been here almost five years, who is also a runner. And I think you've done how many marathons? Have you done marathons? How many? A lot. A lot. So it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. David Callender. Appreciate it. Thank you all for being here today. It really is an exciting time at UTMB. You know, I had a chance to talk about that a little bit in my town hall message a couple of weeks ago. We have come so far since those dark days after Hurricane Ike, and not only been able to rebuild UTMB, but get it reoriented, transformed for the future, so that we have a tremendous number of opportunities to make sure that UTMB continues to play a vital role, not only for the people of the state of Texas, but for the people of our nation and the people of the world. And so even though we have challenges, we have a tremendous, numbers of op a tremendous number of opportunities, and we're after them. We're pursuing them actively. Just look around. You know, when you came in today, you saw the holes in the street. If you've walked by the existing Ginny Seely Hospital, you'll see that the first floor is gone. When you walk through the new facilities, you see all the new paint and the new fixtures and the like. If you look at the programs, they've been re revitalized and oriented for the future. So again, a transformed organization moving forward aggressively into the future. And that's what this campaign is about. We certainly have an ambitious goal to raise $450 million to help secure that future, but we really believe it's within our grasp. In fact, we've made significant progress towards that goal already. But now we need to go out and ask a lot of people for help. We've done some of that already too and had a tremendous response. But it's very important that those of us who belong to UTMB, who make it work every day, set the right example. Many times when we go in to speak to an individual or a group, they ask us, well, how much have you guys done on your own? What have the faculty members and the employees done? What's the percentage of participation locally in your own campaign? And unless we can demonstrate that we believe in what we're doing, that we're participating, we don't have as good a chance to get significant help from these other individuals and organizations. So now's the time for our family campaign. Now's the time when we can demonstrate to the rest of the world that we believe in that future, that we're going to make sure that UTMB not only stays relevant, but continues to be a leader in improving health here and around the world. So please think about participating. It doesn't make any difference whether you give a dollar or a thousand dollars. 
It's so important to participate. We've already had some leadership groups that have stepped up. The Strategic Executive Committee, which is composed of 40 or so senior leaders for the institution, now has, is participating at 100% level. Everybody's committed, committed to a total of about $685,000. The entire development staff now has pledged to participate in the campaign. We have 100% participation from that group. So thank you guys. Yeah. And Martha Levonic, who just took over as the leader of our patient relations group, grabbed me as I was coming through the door and she had her set of pledge forms and said, I want you to know we're 100% already. Thank you so much for what you all do, um, whether you're here in the room today or joining us from many sites, from one of the many sites around our campus, around the areas that UTMB serves. Thank you so much. And please think about making that investment, demonstrating that investment in UTMB's future that's so important as we move forward and try to secure the resources that are necessary to continue to do great work. Thank you very much, Trish. All right. Thank you, Dr. Callender. Thank you. OK, everybody close your eyes. They told me this has never been done before. This is wardrobe changing. Close your eyes. You can't look. <sighs> Ta-da! Oh, thank you. Did anybody peek? See, I did it, and I didn't even knock my microphone off. How wonderful. I think you're going to notice a lot of different people in these shirts today, and we'll talk about those in a little while. But as uh, this day progresses, I'd like to introduce two very, very special people. We have Donna Sollenberger and Dr. Ben Raymer. They are the co-chairs of this committee, and they have led each one of us through the journey, they're going to continue through the month, and they're setting an example for all of us to follow. It is my pleasure to introduce Donna, our Executive Vice President and Chief Executive Officer of the UTMB Health System, and then Dr. Ben Raymer, a pediatrician and distinguished UTMB alum, Senior Vice President for Health Policy and Legislative Affairs. Thank you. Well, Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're so excited that you're here. This is really a great day for UTMB to be kicking off this family campaign. And we realize how important each and every one of you is every day as you come to work and together work wonders, but especially as we embark on this family campaign, how important each and every one of you will be to our success. I want to, uh, in addition to all the great faces I see in the audience uh, here on campus at UTMB, we know that many of our employees are uh, videoing in so that they can participate from some of our off-site locations. And we want to welcome them as well and to tell you that we too appreciate everything that you're doing for our patients who are in many, many locations around the great state of Texas. Um, I'm going to let Ben talk a little bit since I said since you've been here a lot longer than I have, <laughs> I was going to let Ben talk a little bit about what he sees as the benefit of this campaign and how important it is for each one of us to participate. Well, thank you, Donna, and uh, regardless of how long you've been here, once you have been at UTMB for a, a day or so, the uh, spirit here is just contagious. Uh, and contagious in a positive way, not one that we need to lock up <laughs> the GNL, okay? <laughs> my first encounter, my first day at UTMB, I had lunch at the Texas drugstore lunch counter. Does anybody ever remember where that was? A few, few shakes back there. 1969, I started as a graduate student. And last night as I was thinking about this, Donna, I was thinking about because I knew someone like you would mention how long I've been here. <laughs> Thinking about that, I have seen a lot of things happen here, uh, a lot of fantastic things. 
I went to graduate school here and to medical school here. I saw the, the John Seeley Hospital uh, come into being and us uh, move into that. Uh, I had an opportunity as an intern to be in the old John Seeley Hospital in those green uh, corridors, to run up those stairs because the elevators didn't work, to transport patients, uh, to go get laboratory because we didn't have an electronic medical record, all of those things. But then I started thinking to me personally what that meant. It means that this is a place that I found and married my wife. It's a place my three children were born. It's a place that I obtained two degrees. It is a place that one of my children graduated from medical school and did a residency. It's a place filled with so many memories. It's a place where I started a private practice, and in 1993, Light Ann came and joined the university, from the town to the gown. Uh, it's a place that I found uh, such opportunity to dream in unlimited ways, Donna just unlimited ways. And as a student, I made rounds in the old Jeannie Seeley Hospital with Dr. Martin Taller. Some people will remember him when it was a psychiatric hospital. Uh, made rounds there for three months. Uh, frankly, it's a joy to see that building come down. <laughs> and a, you know, I won't, I promised I wouldn't get into the how many Governors of Louisiana have been visitors there, <laughs> or other things. But it carries an interesting history, and ask me about that later, Donna. I think Elv I will. Elvis... Do I need the lawyer there? El Elvis may have been there, too, you know. Uh, who knows? This is a, a, an incredible opportunity for the future. We've seen a lot of things change this university, but nothing has changed it more powerful, Donna, than the people who work here. And that's why I'm so excited about this family campaign. Together, we will work wonders here by what we do today. The, the pledge uh, from the executive committee that Dr. Callender just announced is just the very first part of that. I am so excited, Donna. I need to shut up and let you talk. Okay. <laughs> I came to UTMB because of the exciting future that I saw was here. Uh, I met many people when I came for interviews, and your commitment to UTMB is so strong. I came for the future that this campaign will enable the new Jenny Seeley Hospital, so we will be able to not only take care of patients in state-of-the-art facilities, but also train our uh, students and residents in contemporary facilities. We believe they'll also attract faculty who want to work in facilities that look like ones where they've trained or where they recently worked. But in addition to the Jenny, this campaign has something for everyone. Uh, there are those who are interested in giving uh, their donation for scholarships. And we know how important scholarships are to the educational mission that we have and to assuring that we have the rich diversity of students who are so committed to taking care of patients in their future. We want to make sure that we can help them with that. We also have groundbreaking research that uh, this campaign can help to uh, fund as well. So there's something in this campaign for everyone, no matter where your heart is specifically, your heart at UTMB hopefully will help you want to make some type of donation to help this campaign. Um, I want to actually, all the blue shirts, will you stand? I want to recognize all the people who are part of this campaign as champions, helping us to identify people to give and uh, also to spread the word and be enthusiastic, as Trish is, about this campaign. So I'd like you to all recognize them, give them a nice round of applause. And then one more little exercise, so we can, you know, it's noontime, we should be able to jump up and down. Um, I know that many people in this uh, auditorium have already uh, given a gift, and I wondered if those who've already given a gift could stand so we could see the broad participation. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? Ah, wonderful.
And the great part about it is by the end of the campaign in about a month, hopefully we'll get all of you TMB to be able to stand and be counted in working together for this wonderful future. So thank you all. We've got a lot more to go in the program, but Ben and I really appreciate being able to co-chair this important campaign and work with all of you. Thank you. See what I mean? They're great leaders for this campaign. Their passion is evident in everything they say and do. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our next speaker. Greg Valentine is a fourth year School of Medicine student. He's the recipient of the 2011 American Medical Association Foundation Excellence in Medicine Leadership Award, and abbreviated as <laughs> In 2010, Greg was named one of UTMB's Osler Student Scholars, and in 2009 was awarded Galveston's Unsung Hero by the Galveston County Daily News. Greg, please come forward. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good so, afternoon. <laughs> when applying for the different medical schools across the state of Texas, I had no idea where I was going to end up. But when I interviewed here at UTMB, there was just something different. The friendly atmosphere was pervading everything. It was amazing, and it was contagious, like Dr. Raymer was speaking about. The closeness to my family, which happens to be up in Houston, was also a good factor for me but also the amazing curriculum where we have amazing board scores, highest in the state of Texas, that opens up many opportunities to go to residencies all across the, the world and the nation. It's, it's an amazing opportunity to be here as a student at UTMB. But also for me personally, the global health track was a huge calling for me. I personally did a lot of work with Romanian orphans prior to medical school, and I wanted to continue working with those same orphans. I didn't want to tell them or show them that another person in their life would abandon them. And coming to UTMB through the UTMB Global Health Track meant that I could go back and help those same Romanian orphans. But starting medical school, I soon came to find out that being a medical student is a costly decision. The average uh, medical expenses or the average debt after medical school is approximately $200,000 nationally. So through the amazing scholarship support here at UTMB, I haven't had to worry about that so much. I've been able to travel back to Romania to help those same orphans, and I have not had really any concerns about paying for my tuition or my textbooks, and because of all that, I have been able to excel in my extracurricular activities with starting different organizations that go down to the Texas-Mexico border to provide free health care, as well as just doing well on my step, step, step scores and classes and things like that. The amazing scholarship support here at UTMB has opened up many doors for students at UTMB. The Family Campaign is a wonderful opportunity to allow future students at UTMB the ability to excel in their studies without any of those worries about financial burdens or constraints. The Family Campaign allows students to provide health care to everyone that truly needs it, whether it be here in Galveston or on the Texas-Mexico border or even in Romania. Through the financial support that this Family Campaign will bring, UTMB students will be able to practice in state-of-the-art facilities with new and innovative technology at the Jenny C. Lee Hospital. This campaign provides wonderful opportunities for UTMB students to learn and grow into the best medical professionals across the state of Texas, the nation, and even throughout the international communities abroad. If I hadn't already done med school, I would want to do it again, but I don't want to do it all over again. Um, <laughs> The Family Campaign is a wonderful opportunity for the students here at UTMB. It is truly what the mission statement says it is, working together, the future is ours. Thank you. Thank you, Greg. It's time for another wardrobe change. Excuse me. <clears throat> Are you looking? No peeking. No peeking. <sighs> <sighs> OK. There's a reason that I put this on. The next speaker is very popular at Mardi Gras. I have seen her in the Barkas and Meow Parade with her cats, and I have loved every time I've gotten to see her. She dresses beautifully, and she usually has one of these on. So, Dr. Richardson, this is honor of you today. 
<laughs> Joan Richardson is the chair of the Department of Pediatrics and holder of the John Seeley Distinguished Centennial Chair in Neonatology. She's also another UTMB Distinguished alum and a great Mardi Gras supporter. You wear boas very well. So welcome, Dr. Richardson. Big weekend coming up. <laughs> I'm really uh, thrilled to be here today to speak on behalf of the alumni and the faculty. I, I am both of them. I went to medical school here at UTMB. Uh, I actually, unlike Dr. Raymer, graduated. <laughs> and, and for the past 37 years, I've been a member of the faculty. UTMB is a very, very special place to me. Whatever I have become and whatever I have accomplished really would not have happened if it hadn't been for this institution and for the wonderful people who have been a part of it. Wonderful people committed to UTMB who preceded me and who made this place a better place for me. Through the Working Wonders campaign, you and I also have a wonderful opportunity to make UTMB an even more special place. We have an opportunity to leave UTMB a better place than we found it. I'm reminded of the mother who was having a conversation with her little boy, and she asked him what he wanted to be when he grew up. And he said he wanted to be a philanthropist. And she said, that's great. Now, just why is it that you want to be a philanthropist? And he said, well, because philanthropists always seem to have a lot of money. <laughs> well, I don't think philanthropists are necessarily people who have a lot of money. I think philanthropists are people who participate, who want to participate to make things better. So I am here today to ask you to be a philanthropist, to ask you to participate in making this great institution even greater, and to send a strong message to everyone in this country that the UTMB family is committed committed to making this a better place, and that we are 100% all in. Money, marbles, and chalk. We're in. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Richardson. My marbles are in the bank. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. James Goodwin. Dr. Goodwin is the George and Cynthia Mitchell Distinguished Chair in Geriatric Medicine and Director of the Seeley Center on Aging. And Dr. Goodwin, my father-in-law, was recently an ACE unit patient, and it was phenomenal care he received. Super. Thank you so much. Thank you. So my task is to talk about research, and I'm going to be serious and boring. Um, <laughs> Generation of new knowledge is at the heart of every great university. And um, let, let me describe uh, Dr. Callender's vision for how knowledge generation will flourish uh, with this capital campaign. And it, it really starts just by describing a couple of ongoing uh, successful programs uh, in research at UTMB. And we have many of these, but I'm using these two because they're wonderful examples of what a clear and consistent vision in leadership can do. Uh, our programs in infectious disease are among the best in the world, uh, as you all know. Um, to a major extent, they were the product of David Walker's clear and consistent vision, uh, starting in the early 1990s and, and lasting uh, to the present day. Choosing a path, uh, formulating a plan, responding to opportunities as they arise, uh, changing uh, as you have to, to for external circumstances were all 
all the while remaining uh, true to a uh, consistent vision. Our outstanding programs uh, in uh, women's health uh, were the result of Garland Anderson's clarity and consistency of vision when he was chairman of OBGYN during the 1990s and early 2000s, producing uh, truly one of the very great departments uh, in this country. Both the infectious disease and women's health research initiatives contain translational components, translating basic science findings into new treatments, new diagnostic tests for our patients. Those successes and other successes uh, required the hard work and creativity of many gifted investigators. But undergirding them all was the leadership with a clear and consistent vision. Going forward, the vision of Dr. Callender is to build more outstanding programs in translational research, research programs that will strengthen and undergird the outstanding clinical programs we are currently building. We're building world-class programs in, transplant, in organ transplantation, in diabetes and in obesity, in heart disease, in chronic brain diseases, in cancer, and in other conditions that afflict the populations that we serve. Our goal now is to build translational research programs in those same areas so that outstanding basic and clinical investigators can work hand in glove with the uh, thoughtful clinicians uh, to develop better ways to prevent and treat those conditions. Our patients will directly benefit from the collective energy of these efforts. Such close collaboration between investigators and clinicians can be powerful and rich. Most of my best, uh, I shouldn't say best, most of my research ideas have uh, arisen uh, in the clinic, uh, either from seeing my patients or uh, from discussions with my clinical colleagues. These translational programs will include those that expand the science and practice of transplantation, such as stem cell uh, research, uh, stem cell uh, treatments to, uh, to replace damaged tissue, and also developing vaccines uh, to prevent and treat uh, diseases such as uh, Alzheimer's disease or diabetes. And those are just two examples. The UTMB re research vision creates a big tent where all UTMB uh, investigators can flourish. A clear and consistent vision is critical, but it must be fueled by resources. We need a new facility to house these translational investigators. And we need funds to recruit outstanding investigators, investigators in these areas with the leadership, with the clear and consistent vision uh, to produce outstanding programs in translational research. The capital campaign is an investment in our future, as we've all heard. It's our future. It's not just the future. It's our future that we're investing in. We'll all benefit from these facilities. We'll all benefit from these colleagues that we'll be bringing in additional creativity to the institution. So this is our path, and with the continued clear and consistent vision of UTMB leadership, I really have no doubt that we will accomplish it. Thank you. That wasn't boring at all. Not at all. Our last speaker today is a phenomenal woman. Many of you know her. If you've lived in Galveston very long, you know her, you know of her. She's done amazing things for this island. Lida Ann Thomas is the former mayor of Galveston, and during her tenure, she saw Galveston boldly and proudly through Hurricane Ike and the city's recovery. She's the past president of the Harris and Eliza Kempner Fund, which recently pledged $1 million to the new Jenny Seeley Hospital. The main concourse on the second floor of the new Jenny Seeley Hospital will be named to honor the Kempner Fund's generosity. Without further ado, please welcome Lida Ann Thomas to the stage. Thank you. Dr. Callender, ladies and gentlemen, as a member of the Kempner family, I learned very early that my family and the Seeley family shared common values and great concern for the welfare of our community. 
Among the things most highly prized by our families was the health of our citizens. The Seelys and the Smiths dedicated their fortunes to building this great institution. My family has fought the leg in the legislative trenches and through individual and Kempner Fund endowments throughout the years to keep this institution growing here on the island. The Kempner Fund joins the Seely and Smith Foundation in this building effort. But all the money in the world and legislation enactments cannot buy a great institution. It is the people who bring their talents, willingness to work hard, to work together toward common goals that make and must continue to make UTMB exceptional. You, the members of the UTMB family, are absolutely indispensable to the health, wealth, and welfare of this community and the region. This institution is the oldest in the state and one of the greatest in the nation and in the world and should be among the proudest. UTMB has, within the last few years, withstood natural disasters, economic downturns, and political upheaval. Your, do your doors almost closed, but they did not because you, your representatives, your supporters from the community at large awoke to the realization that UTMB and all its components must stay alive on this island or the island dies. We are inextricably bound. In, it is the determination, intelligent, and dedication of staff, students, and supporters working together that has seen us through those dark days to this moment as UTMB takes wing, takes flight into its brightest future. Where must it all begin? Right here, right now, with you, the UTMB family. You are the core, the heart, which can keep dreams alive. I am reminded of a Russian folk tale about stone soup. A hungry wanderer makes his way into a humble vi village, its, habit its inhabitants victims of famine. He finds a pot, he adds water, builds a fire, and he finds a stone to put in the pot and begins to stir. Soon, a man came forward and put an onion in the pot. And then another came and put a potato in the pot. And another a turnip and a carrot. And before long, all the villagers had put something in the pot and they were able to join together to enjoy the best meal they had in ages. Let us make stone soup, each putting in our share. Working together, the future is ours. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Lina Ann. I'm ready for this stone soup. Let's look at a quick video. David, if you'll roll the tape to show you a little glimpse of the future. You're witnessing the first step toward a new era in patient care and health sciences education. The $438 million Jenny Seeley Hospital, a healing environment designed with the future in mind, will have profound implications for Texas and beyond. It will be a much needed healthcare resource, providing the most advanced medical care to patients in our home community and throughout the region. With state-of-the-art operating suites, intensive care in patient rooms, 
The Jenny Seeley Hospital will feature built-in flexibility to remain at the top of its game as healthcare evolves. It will also support the translation of the latest research findings into new treatments. And it will be a real-world classroom where tomorrow's healthcare leaders will learn the art and the science of their calling. Every community in Texas will benefit from the care provided, the research advances made possible, and the healthcare professionals who train here. We invite you to help make the Jenny Seeley Hospital and better health for our state and beyond a reality. Working together, we can truly work wonders. What a great video. It's fantastic to see those towers rising up, isn't it? Yeah. Just incredible. We want to thank you today for, one, just being here, being a part of this, being a part of the energy. But most of all, we want to thank you because we know you're going to participate. The UTB community. And after community. all, Mayor Thomas, that's what it's all about, is that stone soup. It's not how much you write that check for. Although I've been told we would like large ones, uh, that's not it. It's the participation. It's doing what you can to make this dream become a reality. So have any of you seen the remodeled units in the John Seeley Hospital on 7 and 8? And this week we're going to do a ribbon cutting, or as Dr. Hankins likes to say, a cord cutting for the new <laughs> L&D unit. But that's the window to the future. If you look at the units and how well designed they are with input from many, many of our staff, you realize that that's what we're talking about when we move into the new Jenny Seeley Hospital. Um, a place that will allow us to do a much, much better job of translational research that Dr. Goodwin talked about and also to be able to educate students in the future like uh, Greg, although I'm sorry you won't be, you'll come back and visit, won't you? Okay, that's Greg, good. Greg will be the future chair of pediatrics <laughs> when Dr. Richardson leaves. There we go. But at any rate, so you're probably saying, well, Donna, how can I participate? What do I need to do? And uh, it's easy. I found it really easy. There are a number of ways you can participate. Uh, there are people outside at some tables set up where you can take a packet and uh, complete the forms and turn them in and participate in that way. I promise you they aren't tackling you when you come out of here uh, because we want this to be something that comes from your heart, from the heart of UTMB, uh, your desire to give back. We will soon be able to make contributions online. It's ready, okay? We can go online as well and make contributions uh, that way if you're so inclined to do things electronically. And the good news is if you want to give a donation over time so it can be more than what you might be able to afford uh, with a gift today, uh, there's a possibility to do that as well and to do it through payroll deductions. So we're trying to make it uh, easy to participate uh, and allow you to do it in the way that best meets your needs. But we just want, it would be so wonderful to say that we had 100% participation from our UTMB family. It would be wonderful. and. Uh... Don't wait to the March 16th deadline for this, or I'm sure Dixie will be <laughs> taking contributions after that, but don't put it off. Make a, make a contribution now, and when people come up to you and say, well, you know, I don't know, I, I want to support other things other than just a hospital, I, I've heard several people, Dr. Callender, come up and say, well, I think we need educational space. Well, last time I remembered a hospital is a huge amount of educational space. It's got to start somewhere. And that hospital is sorely needed. I look at that as the first educational building of many that we will need here on the island as our enrollment soars over the next 10 years. So give it some thought. Think about it, but not too long. March 16th is just around the corner. Okay, so we want to thank you, but we want to leave you with some thoughts by others. So I, I presume this is another video. Great. Um, I see this is sort of improv 
a little bit. Uh, but we want to leave you with some thoughts from others that really point to the importance of UTMB, not only to this community, to this island, but also to the people who seek their health care here. So thank you again. UTMB Health, working together to work wonders. UTMB community to me means diversity, extraordinary perseverance, unified innovation, discovery, professionalism, respect, compassion. When I think of the UTMB community, I think of integrity, hardworking, caring, honor well-educated, enthusiastic, highly skilled, friendly, and lifelong learning. When you think of the UTMB family, it makes you feel like we are the difference. We are the best from the littlest to the biggest. And that's what we're about, family. 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 Family and we're here to stay. We're not going anywhere. Thank you all for coming. We have cake and refreshments outside, pledge forms. We would love to have all of our champions come to the stage to take a photo in our blue shirts. Thank you for being here. It starts today with each and every one of us. We appreciate you.